Hey guys, welcome to episode number 86. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday. And today I wanted to go ahead and uh, tackle this problem I've been having with my 125 background. Uh, I want to make sure that I seal the damage to the background so that the turtles don't continue to bite it. So come along with me and learn how to be a better aquarist. All right, so I've drained the water level down far enough so that I could place my plastic sheet on top of the water. Um, this will act as my barrier so I can start working um, on this styrofoam without getting anything in the water. So let's continue. So here we go. I started with a heat gun and uh, I heated the surface uh, where the damage has occurred and uh, what that allows me to do is uh, make sure that uh, those styrofoam beads don't flake off individually. Uh, so I've got my, my first coat of dry lock on. You'll see I alternate with the hair dryer and the paintbrush to, uh, to dry out the, uh, the background. And uh, I had to replace my um, my uh, plastic cover there because I did leak a little bit into the water by mistake. I try to clean up as I go. Uh, it's okay if you get a little on the glass, it, it comes off easily. And uh, even if you don't clean it up, you can always scrape it off with a, a razor blade afterwards. So it's, it's not a big deal. I just try to keep as much of it out of the water as possible. Uh, you'll see I do light coats. Uh, that way I can dry it with a hair dryer and then do another light coat and dry it with the hair dryer. I'm trying to get as many coats on as possible in the in the shortest amount of time here with this patch job uh, to make sure that I lock that background back together. All right, and here we are, five or six coats later. Um, the patchwork is uh, dry to the touch, uh, but that doesn't mean it's completely dried or cured. Uh, what I'm probably going to do here is uh, let this dry overnight uh, with the water level down just the way it is uh, and then only after um, I touch it tomorrow to make sure that it's absolutely dry will I bring the water level back up. Um, I might hit it with the hair dryer a couple more times to to uh, get some airflow over it but uh, at this point you know since there are five or six coats there uh, I did keep them light coats, but um, there's a lot of uh, dry lock material there, um, so it will take a little bit of time to dry. So uh, that's the plan there. I did try to uh, color match it as best I could. Uh, if you see up top here, there's like two shades of gray, and uh, down here, again, there's uh, two shades of gray. Um, what's kind of throwing it off right now is all the algae growth. If you see, um, the algae growth is basically covering all of those surfaces that are uh, pointed uh, up towards the, uh, the light here. Um, so hopefully with some time, uh, algae will grow over this, uh, this patch work here as well. Uh, I'm hoping that the dry lock doesn't flake off. Um, that I painted over the uh, the algae, but I guess we'll uh, we'll find out with time. Um, so yeah, um, the other thing is I did spill a little bit uh, into the water. Um, you know, it's it's uh, latex based, so it's not um, toxic by any means. Uh, but it, again, it's it's also not good. So uh, what I probably will do here is now uh, do. Uh, a large water change, probably uh, about 30 gallons or so, and uh, I'm going to take all the, the driftwood out of here, kind of clean up the rocks, uh, vacuum the, the sand, because uh, I haven't done all of that in a while. And uh, then with the new water added, um, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to, to, to not you know bring the water level back up much more beyond where it is right now. Let that dry out, and and tomorrow I'll I'll put the ramp back and uh, and fill this uh, the rest of the way back up. So hopefully uh, the turtles are done chewing on it, um, but time will tell. Um, 
you know that that should be enough coats that um, that they don't claw at it and uh, expose the uh, um, the styrofoam. But uh, if if they decide to start biting it again, there's not a whole lot I can do to stop them. So that's the uh, the patch job on the 125 background. Um, you know, it's it's not the ideal uh, situation here, but I did the best with uh, what I had, and uh, that's uh, that's what it looks like. So uh, hopefully that's locked the background back together, and hopefully that will prevent more damage. But I guess time will tell on that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got a background of your own, um, keep this in mind. If uh, if you ever see uh, you know some some damage start to appear it's definitely worth taking care of uh, sooner rather than later because uh, it will just get worse and worse and it's already made a mess of this tank as you can see there's styrofoam beads all over the place and I, I need to clean all of that up so that's next up on the list but the background is sealed and I'll just keep uh, moving forward I guess from from here alright guys see you later